So you're looking for the perfect product to sell on Amazon in the UAE or Amazon in Saudi Arabia. Should you just choose a product and randomly sell it on Amazon? Of course not. There is a certain way that you can do product research to ensure that you're selling a successful, maybe probably best-selling product on Amazon. And I'm gonna show you particularly focusing on Amazon in Saudi Arabia. So let's get started. If you log into Google and type in start a small business, this is actually the result that you will get. Yes, Google suggests that the first thing that you should do is market research. And that's exactly what we are gonna be doing to sell products on Amazon. C, the right strategy would be to decide on a product based on what the market wants and then sell that product. And that's why we do product research. There's so many ways that you can do product research. And I know a lot of you are really excited about selling on Amazon in Saudi Arabia. That's why I'm doing this video for you because I'm gonna show you a tool a really great tool, one of my favorite tools that can help you find products to sell on Amazon in Saudi Arabia. And this tool is called AMZ Scout. And not only am I gonna show you a quick tutorial of how you can use it for the Saudi Arabia and UAE market, but I'm also gonna give you an incredible discount, thank you AMZ Scout, which you will find in the description box of this video and linked and pinned in one of the comments where you can get a great discount so that you can start using AMZ Scout for your research. Before I jump on the computer, let me quickly explain why tools are important. What do these tools do? Tools basically help you work smarter and not harder. Because what a tool does is it just gives you all of the data in an easy to understand format and quickly without you having to do things manually. And sometimes most of this data is not even available to you. So the cool thing about it is you can get the information quickly and then you can make smart decisions. And it's all about making smart decisions when you don't wanna basically lose money when you're selling on Amazon. So part one of using AMZ Scout is actually logging in. And AMZ Scout is not only a product research tool it has so many tools for sellers so as you can see here you can look product research keywords and listings ready-made solutions trends and product ideas so you can see for example weekly hot products and it's going to suggest them for you learning of course and some other information simply choose the marketplace that you want and amz scout currently works on all of those marketplaces including uae and saudi arabia which were recently added and you can also choose the language if you want uh, uh, german spanish chinese japanese let's keep it on english for the time being after that, there's a lot of things, but I'm going to show you precisely what I would recommend that you do. So in product research, you can either go to the product database if you have no idea, and then you can tell AMZ Scout to give you some idea. Definitely, you need to do the filtration yourself. For example, I'm going to clear all of this, and you can select the category that you are interested in. Let's choose something a little bit simple let's choose how about we choose pet supplies we apply and then we can choose something like um include particular keywords uh, maybe the selling price uh, maybe if it's uh, all new products maybe i also want trending products even though that's not really available right now but i'm just going to keep it as wide as possible and i'm gonna obviously there are more filters that you can add in order to make the things uh, that appear a little bit faster and let's click on find products when you click on find products, then you will start getting actual products. You're going to get the category. You're going to get the rank of the product in the main category uh, or rather the subcategory. You're going to get the sub rank as well. So the main category, which is pet supplies, is 34, the rank, and the subcategory is cat litter and the rank is six. You can also click in order to see the historical data. Definitely because Amazon, uh, Saudi Arabia, as well as UAE are new marketplaces. So some of the data isn't already collected, but we've got data. And then you can see a lot of things. Most importantly for me would be to see what the estimated monthly sales are for each and every product, because that makes it very important 
to understand whether or not this is a potential product and also seeing what are the seller fees so that you can identify whether or not it would be an interesting product. So this would be a way for you to search for products. But another way that I really like would be to, like we said, do market research, not product research, market research. So to do market research, you would go into keywords and listings, and then we could do keyword research. So we're flipping this upside down. You definitely do keyword research, for example, when you are selling a particular product and you want its keywords. But what we're doing here is trying to understand market demand. So that's why we're doing keyword research. So let's say uh, I was using this as a keyword earlier. Let's say I want to search for water bottle. I want to see what is the potential of water bottle. Most importantly, I want to see you guessed it, the demand for water bottle. So here I clicked on water bottle and I'm going to click find keywords. And as you can see, it's giving me the estimated monthly search volume. Search volume basically means how many people are logging into Amazon and clicking a particular uh, and uh, typing in a particular keyword. So this shows me, this is my market research. This shows me the demand for the product. And obviously the higher the demand, the better the product. And it also gives me an average keyword sales. So how many sales are happening under this keyword? So here you can understand whether or not, look, I, I chose this product because I know it already has a lot of demand. So gallon water bottle holder uh, is not bad. Hot water bottle, there we go. Hot water bottle has less than 200 monthly search volume. This is this wouldn't be a product that is selling very well or has a lot of demand, or it could be since it's saying that it's getting about 70 sales, it could be that that is not really the main keyword for the product. Maybe it's something else. I don't know. And then you can look at the timeline if the information is there and you can see what the demand is for this product under this keyword. Now, this is what you can do on the actual interface, which is very cool. But what can you do on Amazon itself? As you might imagine, Imagine AMZ Scout definitely has a great pro extension and you can see it right here in my bookmarked extensions. I logged into Amazon UAE this time and I typed in water bottle again. I don't, I don't know why. I feel it's like my easiest example to give you. And then I'm going to click on the pro extension and look at all of the information that's going to show up. First and foremost, what I really like about the Pro Extension is that it gives you a product score for PL and a product score for reselling because I know most of you are interested in reselling and most of you are interested in private label. And actually you can do both. But here, the lower the score, the worse the opportunity. So as an example, if I click on it, it's going to tell me the product score for PL is just two making it not a perfect product to do private label. Maybe the reselling score is a little bit higher. So for example, here, the reselling score is seven, which is really good, but the PL score is five, which is also not bad, maybe mid, mid size acceptable. Uh, it's five over 10 or seven over 10, of course. It's also gonna give you for all the products that we saw right now on the page, remember we searched for water bottle, we're also gonna see the rank, we're gonna see the FBA fees, we're gonna see a lot of information, including most importantly, the sales. So if I were to click on the sales, Sometimes if the information is there, if there's enough history, I will be able to see the actual historical data of the product and how long it's been selling. Now, as you can see here, there's a lot of filtering that you can do. You can also click on trends and it takes you directly to Google Trends so that you can see the search history for this product over the past five years. This is something that I really like. You can also click on suppliers on Alibaba, which is a cool feature so that you don't have to go to Alibaba itself. You can quickly just click here. Uh, this is something that we've seen recently in tools because Alibaba has given integration to tools like AMZ Scout. So you can, instead of going to the Alibaba interface, you can quickly and immediately use everything under one uh, interface and try to find really good and most importantly, verified. So here you can see not only if they're verified, but you can see verified since when which for me is definitely an important thing. You can see the MOQ, you can see the prices, so you can just, the interface is so much easier to manage than, than Alibaba itself, to be honest. And look at this here, you have something called product ideas. Do you want me to click it? Let's click it. As you can see, it's gonna give you random product ideas, 
top 1000 bestsellers, new and trending. Let's go for random product ideas. And as you can see, AMZ Scout just gave me a bunch of random products, which I probably wasn't even thinking about. And it's actually decided to go for organic compost. Interesting. And it's showing me exactly what's happening, what are the estimated sales, which are kind of very high at the moment, and what would be the uh, PL score as well as the reselling score. Maybe this wasn't a product that was under my radar or not something that you were thinking about. That's why I like this idea. Now, remember, tools like AMZ Scout also provide you vital information for when you are actually selling on Amazon so that you can get more information and better insights. With that being said, you can find an incredible discount code for AMZ Scout linked in the description box of this video and in the top comment. And let me know what you think. Do you want more tutorials for product research in KSA, Saudi Arabia in particular, as well as UAE? I'll see you in another video with more information. Bye.